Yay. Oh crap, did I not get scissors? I have scissors, I have scissors. Okay, this is the Goodwill uh, lot. Don't look at my edge. Are you gonna do it from my house? You can't, you're in quarantine. This is the uh, Asian, what I call displayed lot. The box is a lot, it's heavy. Eight pounds? Um, but tiny. Are those gonna be bigger? Because it's not just jewelry. There's a couple other sundry things, which usually they do with the Asian lots. I think they call them Asian inspired. I bought another Asian lot. It was one of my very favorite things. So I'm hoping this is good too. So this is the situation. Two piece tray form. Excuse me, I'm uh, Yeah. It's, okay, I gotta try to talk loud because I don't have a little mic and when I play my videos back, it's like, I can't even hear, I can't hear. I have my hair wrangled today. I usually only wear these in the summer, but it's kind of warm out today. I'm gonna keep my hair, I'm so excited. Anyway, the Asian inspired lots can include, I'll show what you'll just see. But, and I paid 63, which I was thrilled. I was gonna pay up for this lot. And maybe I'll look at it and be glad I didn't, but like I was willing to pay like 200 because I just love these kind of lots. Lots. Okay, well. Huh. Sorry. I was just very surprised at how small the box was. Not in a bad way, they're like, oh, a teeny box, but You'll see, because there's other little Buddha figures and things besides jewelry. Oh, I already love the bells. Anyways, it ended in the middle of the day. So I think that's why the bidding stayed as it did. Oh, for the love of God. There we go. Oh, these are just um, Christy Page. I'm in love with these earrings. Oh, well, shit bags. Boring. Because this is just, I can't, oh, there's something. Okay, God. I'm just gonna leave them like half on, half off there. I don't know who Christine Page is. Christy. Charlie? Somebody. But how can you not love these? I love them. I love them a lot. You hear the jingling jangly? And these are just little... Cloisen enamel bells. It's a little piece of jade. And this I didn't care for. I knew it was going to be cheap. I'm going to get it. My last Asian lot was not tangled. Although it was all just tossed in a box. It just the nature of it, I guess, just wasn't tangled. It's not that I don't like this. It's it's actually nicer than I thought. It's unfortunate. Oh my god, it broke in shipping. Well, so there's that. I mean sure the piece is in there, but it not only broke in shipping, um, but it also did this because that see that stone? That wasn't like that in the pictures. Neither was that. And it's actually metal. I thought it was gonna be all plastic. The beads, mm, the beads might not even be plastic. It's heavy. So, I mean, I can put that back in, but that's effing unfortunate. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm glad that wasn't like the piece I was into. Like, oh my God, I gotta see that piece. Um, this, I couldn't see. Okay, there's beads missing. It's still really pretty. Like a bead strand broke off, which all I could see in the picture, I think was like that much. I couldn't see these danglers. So I won't know if this happened in travel. Very well, May could have. And I hope this just doesn't keep happening to piece after piece. Cause that would be a right bummer. Is this, I love the look of this. Is that, is that, um, oh, what's that? <laughs> Language. 
going to say Israeli, but no, the people that the Israelis don't like. Arabs. Is this Arabic or something? I like it. I like it a lot. But I need to know what it is. Writing wise. This is just a brass vintage. Ooh, I'm going to break. Brass vintage elephants, I think. Cuff, right? Is that a cuff? I always get my cuffs and my bangles confused. Okay. I was wondering what this is. It looked. I knew it was fabric, but I'm like, I didn't think of it being a bag. Okay, so there's just an ass lot of earrings in here. Like, um, just lightweight, but super cute, like Bali style. Let me see if they're all earrings or if there's a, they're so lightweight, like almost like paper mache. They're not plastic. They're, damn you, dear. Trying to undo that. Come here, you little guy. Here's one of the very, let me see if I can straighten this guy out. What is happening? Oh, this guy came loose. Well, they're super fragile, expialidocious. Um, but all the little shorties, shorties, they're just like this. Little sweet, like India, I'm guessing. I'll see if they're all matched later. Oop, later. There's a bag of them. Again, not bummed because I didn't know. I didn't care what was in that bag kind of thing. I forget why, what the things, I, as I pull them out, I'll know what I wanted. I think this piece was one of them. Uh, that was it? I love this, but all of a sudden I don't remember seeing it in the picture. Actually, it was just, I basically, I don't know if there's one or two pieces. I think I just got it for the overall situation of it, the whole thing. Oh, Christ, I'm a cracker. Oh yeah, this long thing. Okay, let me see if I can detangle the mangle. You know what I'm saying? Is this, if this, okay, this does, no, that's not where it's, it's not with the ebony. I hear, or don't some of you like tangles? I don't find it, I don't find it a challenge. I don't like anything about it. Because I have no patience. This is nicer than I thought. Meaning it's heavy, heavy metal. And I thought it was not, I didn't, there's just stuff just everywhere. I didn't, I, I can't talk. It's metal, which makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is substantial. I didn't know if it was just going to be. It looks like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. But thank goodness that survived. But I liked this one better in the pictures. Hang on. Hang on. Ha! Freed you. Oh, dear read you, but you're still not right. And this is, again, not anything like it's just my kind of thing, is what it is. Oh. I mean, come on now. It's just a pretty thing. Me like it. Let me look at that. Come on. Okay. I'm going to set that gingerly and gently over there. And this one I saw, and I loved it, but the only, and I could see that it was corded, corded, but I still love it. And it's, I'm sure it's just an India tourist piece, like, but again, it's just so pretty, right? Look at that. But the corded thing, I don't know. I know, because corded always means like, to me, and I'm sure to the people that made it, like cheapier. But this is a nice metal. So that's pretty. Corded or not. Okay. This stretch guy. I loved him in the picture. He's a little big for me. But, you know, 
pretty. Lovely. Too big. The stretch is still tight, but it just was made for a little bigger wrist than I have. What are you? Huh. So I didn't even see this one in the picture. Alright, there's an arrow on tab. I mean, it's, I know it's a pendant, but is it like handmade? It looks like it had more things hanging from it. Now there's only one thing left. A fish. But see, there's three holes. So... And I'm pretty sure that this is just metal. I think I have a magnet. A magnet. This is my magnet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't see. There was things I couldn't see. Those two necklaces I couldn't see that I just showed you. Oh, cute. What are you? Is this meant to be a necklace? Necklace? Place, pendant, a little rhinestone. You know, I always love gold tone and rhinestones. And who doesn't love an elephant? Okay, here's this guy. I bet he broke and that damn it. Fuck. These people, man. I mean it's okay, but his both his ears broke off in travel. And it's just a tourist piece? Vintage, I believe, because of the, the way the tags are, but dang, look at both his horns. Fudge. It's the only thing I don't like about, I don't know about all the lots, but these displayed lots, for some reason, they just think it's okay to toss it all heavy stuff. You know what I mean? It's different if it's all jewelry, then, you know, fight as you will, but I like this metal. It's on a cord, too. And it has, oh wow, that's cool. Saks Fifth Avenue, I don't know if you can see it. I'm like, that's a vintage plate back there, or sticker or whatever the hell it is, Saks Fifth Avenue. I just got this. I have plenty of loops, but this is my new one and I quite love it. Uh, go up Saks. Fifth Avenue by, oh, by, by what, golly, honestly, something with a J maybe, A, D, I, last name L something. It's funny though, I could see Saks Fifth Avenue just without look at magnifying it. I would never in my wildest dreams thought that was from Saks Sax, yeah, yeah. Sax Fifth Avenue, but not mad. Okay, and I saw this. This is, this is what's wreaking so much havoc. It's some kind of stone egg that weighs, I could weigh it. I mean, I'd say a pound, like half a pound. Ah. <sighs> curse you because <laughs> I know that bounced around and just did re re oh see I didn't know this was a plate Choken the art of Choken 14 karat gold plate I thought it was some kind of little trinket box it's pretty but didn't break didn't chip I mean what the hiney hey okay and I didn't know this was an egg but I knew another heart heavy egg come on ah Dang, just annoying. Now I don't remember what I really wanted to see in this lot. Okay, this is cool. I could see this was cool. It's not made by anybody, but it's just a cool little, oh, and it's little. Let me see, little more elephants. Just a clamper, it looks, well, it fits me, but it looks tiny. Clamp on, clamp off, the clamper. Um, this one really bums me out. Even though I wasn't, I looked at it and I thought, meh, meh, meh. I like it better now that it's in person. And this I can't fix. Boo. Okay, let me put the pretty, pretty earrings. Oh, these are the bagged earrings. 
and this. This is a cool little, I already showed you, but it's really pretty. Uh, tiny horse. Little tiny horse. A little resin, I guess. Although, it might be plastic. This guy's resin, because he's heavy. <sighs> Frustrating. Okay, I did see this. I wanted to see this more closer. Oh. Okay. That's... Well. I don't hate it. Because I love the, um... Another sort of India piece, probably. The little medallion, or whatever that is. But what I loved and what I was looking at in the picture were these orange stone situationals. Nice. And these are just like little, I don't know. It's pretty. Pwetty. What else is broken in here? I don't know what, I don't know what this is. Other than Asian. Ah, another freaking, oh, well, this is just so cheap. I don't care, I guess. But another, um, that wasn't like that. So I'll have to keep I'm finding some little, oh, I'll get to them. Missing pieces. Okay, well, this one didn't break. I feel like that says something on the back. So I'm going to get my new handy-dandy situation out. I mean, I know it doesn't say silver. Oh, maybe it doesn't say anything. I mean, I wouldn't normally think a piece like this would say anything, but it just had the illusion. Can you see that little line right there in the middle? Looks like a stamp or something. That's cool. No, and then I saw these. You can see they were very long. Long, long, long. Tiny little millifuries. Beady little millifiri. Very long. Um... Probably 30, I'm guessing. No, it has a lot. I mean, not a lobster. A uh, barrel clasp. Thank God it doesn't have a lobster clasp. So these are vintage. I could see those winding their way through the lot, and I knew they'd be long. Long duck dong. Okay, so. Wood? I don't know. A fishy? And these lots are also never, at least not the ones I get, they're never very big. What the hell are you? Magnets? Okay, no idea. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Mm -mm. I did not know. Oh, my first Asian lot. This is one of the pieces I got. Oh, you can't see it. I adored this lot. I got so many gorgeous pieces from it. This is not gorgeous, gorgeous, but it's pretty vintagey, nice, and freaking cool. I don't know if these are obsidian or onyx. They're knotted. These are some kind of stone. But the little Buddha is so gorge, and I love get like they burnt the end to seal it and they beaded the back I just love that I'll put it aside because I love it and I thought since I was doing a new vintage lot I mean an Asian that I'd wear the old one more Indian style choka choka I'm almost to the bottom oh this is pretty me like it. It looks like, oh, it might be. Is it a child's? I'll try putting it around my little neck. Oh, it's like, <laughs> it's a joker. A joker. It must be a child's, right? Because my neck isn't huge, and if my anybody's neck is even slightly bigger, they're not wearing it. But I think it's just adorbs. Feels good. Panel sort of Siam style. Really pretty. 
I'm calling it Siam style, but it's not Siam. And it's just metal. But it's cool. I'm gonna take a hit. A heat. What is this writing? I'm guessing Arabic. Something like that. Earrings with missing stone. So, still pretty. I love the idea of them. Pretty, pretty. Oh, so pretty. Vacant. Some kind of. I don't know if they're plastic. Cool. No, they're not plastic. I don't know if they're stone. They're like, I don't know. But I like the little findings there. Um, we're going over there. There's just a lot of little earrings in here. Is this another one of these? Or is that, did I put that one back? With the missing stone. It's hard to say. I love this. Boo. It's too bad Goodwill can't, you know, just with these lots, when there's other heavy, weird shit that they can't sort of, okay, well, I'm not gonna take the time. This is a nice stone piece see it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's some type of stone that's tangled. I'll put that over there. We're almost done. See, this is like the other fish. And I don't know its purpose. Like the blue fish is, yeah, they put a little something in a bag. Yes, I'm vaping. Oh my goodness, what the hell? <laughs> Jayco National Shido Ryo Championships. Cool. That's actually kind of cool. It's heavy AF. And see, I. Is that Chinese? That's probably Chinese. Shito, though, seems Japanese. I'm terrible with languages. I'm not even very good with English, to be honest. If I see enough words, I can decipher. Because, like, Mitsubishi. <laughs> That's Japanese. Okay, this is just like a little touristy... I don't know what. But that's glass. I mean, I don't like it. I'm just saying it's not plastic as you might think. Oh, little finger chimes. Oh, oh yeah, little finger, finger symbols, watch. Well, I'm not doing it right. Yeah. I love brass, they're heavy. Heavy. Oh, look at this tiny little touristy Buddha. See him? Little tiny tourist Buddha. Okay, this is the other earring I already took out. This is a cute little... Trying to see if it's missing any rhinestones. A little, uh... Brooch dragon. Dragon brooch. Another dragon. Oh, you know what? I have one of these earrings. That is hysterical. I wonder if these are meant to just be a one-eared earring. Because I swear to you, I don't know if it's the mate. Oops, it goes this way. But I seriously have one of these. So I'm going to put it together with its hopefully mate. That's funny. Oh, a baby Buddha. This will be going to my husband because he likes Buddhas. Tiny Buddha. Okay, I'm needing to eat. So we'll wrap it up here almost. Um, another Jade Buddha. Probably... Everything's jade, but just, you know, that doesn't mean anything. 
I have some real jade, and I had, I, because I sold this thing, that I got from an estate sale. Oh, thank you, God. It was $14, and, well, it was 20 but it was, they were having a whatever percentage off that day. And the gal that was running it, I'm like, 20 And she's like, yeah, it's jade. Oh, anyways, it was this tiny little box, wood, with this thin little carved lid. I mean, it was like two inches by two inches, the whole thing, maybe two by three. And I put it up on one of the Facebook groups to say, what the heck. Anyways, long story short, I sold it for 500 I could have gotten more, but I was just like, now nah, I'll take it. I'll take 500 What's my point? Oh, so I've had real good jade. So I know kind of, like I put it under the, the black light and felt it and clinked it and all that. And then I have another real jade little Buddha. Oh, here's the egg stand. <laughs> Stupid egg. It's nice to have the stand. I'm not going to lie. And so I know that the, the sort of, I mean, I'm not like an expert, but I just know that all jade isn't created equal. That's my point. I have a little carved jade Buddha pendant that somebody, you know, was homemade or whatever. Carved beautifully. And it's real jade. It's not infused with anything. But it's still not very valuable. So it's just, I learned a lot with that little jade box and the, before I sold it, I learned a lot about the different things. So jade can be jade, but it doesn't mean it's, even if it's not infused, with it, which it usually generally is in like the touristy pieces, with resin, it's not all jade is valuable. Is that the moral of my story? See, this is probably tacky to everybody, but I could have, I think in another life, I was Indian. I also think I was Native American Indian. I think I was both, but with the bling and the colors and the tacky, I had to have been, I had to have been Indian at some point. I don't know what this is doing in that lot. I guess it just didn't have a home, so they gave it a home. Okay. Now it's just down to, like, the smalls that I hate that other people seem to love. But it's really just junk. Just odds and ends earrings that... Oh, these earrings are kind of cute. I saw these in the listing. And I thought they were very pretty. And I'm sure this is carnelian and they're... Mother fudger. They're definitely vintage. I forgot about these little guys. Unless it's red jade. But just because it's in this Asian lot, it doesn't mean it's Asian. It just means it's what the Goodwill thought was Asian. I wonder if this egg, this big stupid culprit, is going to fit on... I mean, it's not meant for that one. But at least it gives it a thing where it's not going to roly-poly all over the flory. Flowy. little... And why does this have writing on it? I find that not usually Asian stuff. AIC and then a AIC. And just because it looks Asian, obviously, that one was Saks Fifth Avenue, so <laughs> it doesn't mean it's from Asia. Uh, I think that's it, guys. I'm getting hungry. Eh, a little Malik, not Malik. What's that other one? With an M. You know, gray, shiny thing. I guess these earrings are cute. They keep staring at me like, please bring me out of there because I'm pretty. I'm pretty. These are gloss. Oh. Okay, well, that wasn't... That wasn't bad. I'm glad I didn't pay 200 but I love these little touristy things. I don't know why. Because I guess I've never been able to be a tourist now. See, I don't know if this is Japan or China. I was going to say, I could. my son did, did studies. I can just send him like that picture and he'd be like, yeah, that's Korean. You know what I mean? Like he knows the difference. Well, here's another little pin. Like the other little pin. Unless I just put that back in the box. <laughs> Which is quite possible. It's real possible. I guess this is... Okay, that's not meant to be on there. Is it? Oh, well now I like you better.
see, sometimes I like things at the bottom. These just look like tiny rosary breeds, beads. Okay, wait. I'll just see if it's one long thing. These might be prayer beads because they're separated. You see what I'm saying? Can you see? Have I lost my mind? Oh my God. No, they're so tiny I couldn't see them. There's no separation like a rosary. Doesn't mean they're not prayer beads for but and there's a little heavy Buddha. I like heavy. These aren't heavy at all. These like weigh nothing. So I'm glad that there's a little pendant Buddha on there. That decided to, to weight it down. Okay, that's really it. Like a Zen ring. I don't know if that's even Zen. It's just metal. My kid would like it. I have tiny fingers. It's probably a size seven. I guess if it fits my thumb and it's too big for every other finger. Yeah, just a little. Like these little odds and ends, I'll probably give my son. That I wouldn't know. Yeah, the rest I seriously is just these, more of these little. Cheapy but cute. And this little elephant, he's not ivory. Don't freak out. How meta would that be? I'm sure they did it, but like an ivory elephant figure from ivory. Not cool, man. Not cute. Okay. I'm so over myself right now because I'm so hungry. Okay, so what in synopsis, I was going to do a synopsis. Oh, I never did find the... And that stone was there in the pictures. So maybe it just like when they were tossing it in, it like flew away. I was like, I'm out of here. This is a cute little, I keep saying there's nothing. It's not that great, but it's, it's a cute little pendant. It's, and it's stone. Yeah, it's stone, it's not plastic. Okay, that's it for real. Oh, no, that missing, cause that blue, that's a pretty big, you know, it's not like I would overlook that. But since it's, I'm not bummed because it's all scratched up, so. All right, and then just these little vintage fan <laughs> screw bags, earrings. They're pretty. And I don't like this jewelry that I have on my, this. I was just thought it was cool. I was looking through my, I shop at home sometimes. Like I have so much jewelry that I've pretty much gone through, but you know, you gotta go through it like five times. Not not a lot like this, but a you know, 10, 20 pound or more lot, you have to go through it a few times. Um, and I thought, this is a pretty little ring. Well, you can't see it with my other rings, but the one in the middle, that I just got out of there. Um, oh, I'm so disorganized. Oh, this I was gonna detangle. Yeah, this is just another cheap, you know, probably resin and fill, infilled, infused uh, piece. I actually like this little thumb ring, but I know it's old enough that the metal will turn my finger to gringed. Gringed. I believe this is a hanklet. Ah, well, the little thing is broken off. So I believe it doesn't matter what this is. I'll put that back in there. Oh, my point. Like this. This is a cool bracelet. Oh, you can't really see it on me. You know, I just set this aside for filth. But it's really kind of pretty. But here's my dilemma. And here's why I don't have any of these kind of bracelets listed. Because I ship all jewelry in like the, not the tiny one, but the medium size. I get them at 99 cent store. You can get four for a dollar. Uh, padded envelopes. And... I'm too old. Sorry. Shiny things. Um, these pants. Aren't they cool? I love these things. <laughs> my husband hates them. They're starting to feel my daddies. My hairy legs. I haven't shaved. Boop. I'm just like, look okay. at quarantine, man. Uh, God, I digress. Like, I, I could ship this, right? Or this. And one of those envelopes. But this... No, it won't, mm, ooh, it won't expand and this would get like, you know, even if this was a solid, it still would make the envelope 
to bursting and it wouldn't be safe to ship it. And I don't have tiny little non-priority boxes and they don't ship, unless the jewelry cost 100, unless I sold it for 100 or more, I don't ship in priority boxes. I do first class. So I have a bunch of pretty cool bracelets like this size. And I haven't listed them. And I probably won't list them until I, you know, till the bitter end. Okay, so recap. I love this stretch. Is it missing any stones? Because if it's missing any stones, that means I have to keep it. No, sadly it's not. It totally goes with all my tattoos. But you know what? It's too big for me. Like I said, the stretch is tight and good. But I have tiny, tiny wrists. My wrists are six and a half. I mean, I can wear a seven. But if you get to seven and a half, it's not going to stay on my wrist. Okay, I'm trying to recap quickly. Oh, this ring just wanted to come off my finger. I love the idea of that um, Saks Fifth Avenue. I'm kind of excited about that. I love this little guy. Uh, this is so cute. It's too big for an anklet, even if you have cankles. It's not a canklet. I guess. I mean, if I knew the India culture, probably people are like, of course, kids wear those. I mean, not that a kid wouldn't wear this, but I wish it was made for an adult. I never really saw kids' jewelry. I mean, I'll list this as a child's necklace. Necklace. I love that gal. And I don't love the gal. I mean, it's, she's fine, but Canada. She doesn't really do jewelry, but they do. Her and her husband do um, thrift videos, whatever. And I don't know if it's a Canada thing or if it's just a her thing, but they call them necklace. And I just think it sounds so pretty. Necklace of Nicholas. Okay, so this is a, the good thing. All the like vintage jewelry always fits me really good because it's small. And trust me, as you can see, my fingers and my wrists are the only. Yep. See, this is probably a six or a six and a half because it's just. And I don't mind if it comes down a little bit, but like that other one or you know seven, seven and a half, eight. And there's no way eight just right off. See, that's pretty 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 I'll just leave it on okay so there's that this intrigues me I'm gonna have to probably show that to my son is this I mean the fist so is that karate I wouldn't think of it would be karate MMA no idea this pretty little there's a word for this panels but panel clamper but I think there's a word for like that style maybe there's not maybe it's just panel clamper inlay um, I love this. Did I say it five times? I'll say it six. If you haven't got one, get one on eBay. I think they're like seven or eight. I don't know. I have mini loops. I have a, I have this loop that lights up. It's me. I got it from China. It was only like two bucks, so I'm not complaining. Then I have the regular loop. Then I have like a magnifying with a light on it. Um, but that one, my new one is my favorite. And it's not because it's new. It's just because it's better. And this was just, a, I know, you know, I just am attracted to this. I know it's common, it's vintage and metal, but I just, me likey. I like this one. And of course, teeny millifurries. I have, I have a uh, big size millifurries. I don't know if I'm even saying it right. It means lots of flowers or something. I learned that on YouTube. YouTube. They're just cute. They're like little tiny dainies. Okay, that. Um, I'm on trying to get this without getting shit tangled. This is I'm super bummed about this one. And there's no, I don't didn't see any little beads in the bottom, so that I would rather this, you know, never had them, than it got broken in shipping. Like I said, they couldn't see in the auction. All you could see was maybe that much. You couldn't see these. Ugh, it's a bummer. It is a bummer. Anyway, I don't know. Oh, I'm just so attracted. <laughs> okay, so these little uh, things. I'm trying to get the bigger things. The mate to the other dragon. I don't know if it's supposed to be worn as a solo. I mean, it may be because now this is the second one I've gotten that's just solo. So, 
I love this. I mean, who doesn't love this? And this is just pretty modern. It's heavy. It's not a lightweight, which is nice, but in wearing it's a little, can be a little much. Love these little vintage carnelian or jade, red jade or carnelian. I could loop them. I can't tell by a loop. I can just tell if it's glass, but I'm thinking these aren't glass. I'm thinking they are. Yeah, I don't know. I have to black light them. My guess, made in who? China or Japan? Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what's funny? You know where these are made? Italy. Made Italy A L F A L something. Well, that's what I mean about the Asian ones, which I don't care. I just like, you know, I like what I like. I just think it's you're going by what the goodwill. Um, I'm sure they're magnetic. I don't feel like they're sterling. Where's my magnet? Magnet PI, where are you? I don't have a proper magnet because I don't usually. Yeah, well, I could be wrong. They're not magnetic. But I love using. I just think this is hysterical. It's got a double magnet. Yeah, it's. They probably are, are sterling silver. Because watch. Hello. I think I already did that with these. Anyways, I. Oh, they go like this. I'm an idiot. I haven't worn earrings in so long. I didn't, I didn't realize they would have to like. Oh, pretty. No, you don't want to see that side. But they go fully round. I had them like hanging like this. Like you'd wear it like that. Really pretty. I want to see who this Charlie Page is. Because it's just modern AF. And I wonder. I don't think this was meant. Because if you look at that, there's these and then this. I don't know if Charlie Page made these. Because these look authentically Indian to me. But you never know. Okay, tiny little, not tiny, but little dragon. I love dragons. I think I have a couple, a few. Tiny little stone Buddha pendant. <sighs> these little fan vintage earring screwbacks. I really love these. They're so pretty. I know. I'm going to show you again. I loved them in the picture, but I couldn't tell quality or anything like that. And then this big be behemoth. Heavy. And just kind of sweet. I guess I would put, like, what? Bollywood. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I just put Bollywood. And I don't know what this what's happening with this guy. I think he was a part of something else because he's got a little thing up here. So he's probably on some kind of other leather or chain or something like that. And even though this is um, corded, which always implies, like you could probably go to India right now, unless this is a little bit older, but get something very similar for what? I don't know what their money exchange is, but for $2 US, that's my guess. Tis my guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, okay. Gosh darn it. Oh, these, all these. God, magnet? I just said I liked you. Why are you proving me? What these even are? I don't know if they're plastic or wood. Like a Bali wood. That, that's a thing, right? Bali? Not, not Bali Bali. Is it Bali? Suddenly I'm feeling like I'm talking about the Hollywood Bollywood, and I'm not. You probably know what I mean. I think Bollywood is from Indonesia. And this, uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. And I don't know if that would have been original, because this, this is a vintage, by vintage I mean at least 1970s, piece. But was this original? Why do I not think so? Why do I think that had something else. I mean, it's not missing anything, like there's nothing else that's supposed to be hanging from it, but I just wonder about this. This, But I love the fact that it's Saks Fifth Ave. I used to shop at the Ave of Saks Fifth. 
And then this, which again, this cheapens it so much. But these are really pretty. I mean, I guess it's all just cheapy. So I'll stop trying to act like it's not. These, okay, seriously, with the... Oh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm boring myself. These pretty earrings, this plate that miraculously survived without a chip or a crack. And I think that's it. I have to go, because you can't and I can't. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. That was fun. And I will for sure make us my money back. That's a for sure. And it will probably happen with these and or the beautiful earrings that I've now lost. The sterling silver Italian earrings. Oh my god, where are they? There they are. I haven't clipped together. Those two things should pay for this lot. Although, <laughs> they're the two things I love the most. Darn it. Oh well. Sometimes that's just the way she is. And in the meantime, I can admire these because these might take six months to sell. Who knows? And I can, I won't probably wear them. I don't, if I list jewelry, then I don't wear it. But I can admire it. I can keep it where I can see it. There's just something about once something's for sale, it's like, I'm not trying to break it, scrape it, use it, wear it, none of that. Okay, I'm out. Sorry it was so long. Oh my God, really? Sorry.